Unlike WordPress, Squarespace does not have a blog subscription widget. However, if you use campaigns, you can actually uh, set it up so that you can send uh, your blog post to a mailing list that has subscribed to receive your blog posts by email. Uh, here I will take you through the five steps on how to do that. So we're going to start by going into email campaigns and creating a mailing list for your blog subscribers. So you just uh, click on add here in the mailing list, give it a name and that's it. So now we have that. Uh, the next thing we do is we add a um, newsletter form to where you want to collect the email addresses for the mailing list. So typically this would be a sidebar or a blog footer or maybe, you know, a website footer. So in the case of this website here, this is a, this is my test website. I'm actually using a footer plugin. Um, this is Squarespace 7.1, which doesn't have a sidebar. And uh, so there is also a sidebar plugin that you could use, you know, but I quite like the uh, footer plugin, which means, you know, this is actually on every blog post and I can update it um, just on the footer plugin uh, page, you know. So I go to this page here. I have a link um, to where you can find the footer plugin in the blog, blog post associated with this video. Um, so this is my footer plugin and I, you can style it however you want to. And, you know, then here I have a newsletter block and in storage, I click on that and then I select my block subscriber list that I just created and that's it. Um, so once you've done that, you are ready to collect those emails. So, oops, that was a little too fast. So next thing uh, is we're going to a blog post. So this is a blog post that you have published. And then after you publish it, go to the blog post settings and then go to share and here click on create email draft. This will now create the uh, draft in email campaigns. Uh, and you can either click OK and do something else before you do that, or you can go straight away to campaigns. And then here, go to your draft folder. And then here at the top, this is your blog post. So it basically prepares it for you, which is brilliant. I love that. Uh, so you then just go into edit mode for this. Now, I usually do a few things to uh, style it, you know, so for instance here, because, you know, it's if it's only me, I don't need to have the author here. So I just remove that. I just have the uh, the date. Uh, then I also go to the global um, font styling and I make the font a little bit bigger. I also select a different font pack, you know, which is aligned with the font pack that I use for um, all of my emails in email campaigns. It is a bit of a pain that you have to do this every time. Uh, at this point, we don't actually have a template for these uh, blog post drafts, uh, but I'm hoping that eventually there will be a way to do this as well. Uh, so right now, you know, we just have to do it manually. And the other thing that I do is because the background of my email and the background of the text is all the same. Uh, I also change the padding, you know, and to make it a little bit wider. And then uh, down here, this is the link to the original blog post. And I just change that to say, you know, leave a comment, you know, just to give people a little call to action point, right? <laughs> to, to actually go to the blog post and leave a comment if they want to. Uh, and then also in the footer here, um, I remove the powered by Squarespace, which is the Squarespace branding. Uh, I don't see this option here because this is a trial website, you know, so you have to actually sign up to a paid website and you have to be on the core plan in campaigns. And then you have a toggle here to remove the Squarespace branding. So I usually do that as well. And that is pretty much it, you know, because the blog post has already been prepared. I've already published it. So I usually, you know, have proofread it. I uh, checked all my links and everything. Um, so there isn't really much else that I need to do. So then I go to email. If you want to, you can send yourself a test email. 
Um, but again, you know, I'm usually pretty happy with this. So then here um, under the email tab, go to unique recipients, go to your mailing list, select your mailing list and go back. And the subject is usually the same subject uh, uh, as the blog post title. You could also, you know, add something to that if you wanted to. And then you send to recipients and then it will actually double check with you. You know, this is the list that it's going to send to. One of the things I really love about campaigns is you can send to multiple lists. So if by mistake you still had another list checked, for instance, you would be able to see that in here. But this is fine. This is just my blog subscriber list, so that's fine. And then I would hit send, you know, but obviously I don't have anyone in here because I just created that mailing list. So, um, yeah, so that is actually all there is to it. Um, so every time now when you create a blog post, you, you just follow these steps and that will send the email to your blog post subscribers.